Return on assets, or ROA, is a measure of how profitable a company is relative to its assets or the resources it owns or controls. This measure allows investors to judge how efficient management is at using the company's assets to generate earnings. Andy is trying to evaluate two companies in the same industry, Sean's Tractors and Aaron's Farm Equipment. Sean's Tractors is the larger company. It has $100 million in total assets and earned $20 million in net income last year. Aaron's Farm Equipment is half the size, with $50 million worth of assets. It earned $15 million last year. To calculate ROA, Andy divides the net income of each company by its total asset value. Sean's ROA is 0.2 or 20%. Aaron's ROA is 30%. This suggests that Aaron's company is better at converting its investments into profit, even though it is a smaller company. Andy decides to buy shares of Aaron's farm equipment. Different industries will have different ROAs. Manufacturing companies require a lot of resources and will have a large amount of assets. In contrast, a service company like an accounting firm will have very few hard assets. For this reason, it's best to compare ROAs within the same industry. Even then, no single measure can tell the whole story. Return on assets is just one of the many metrics that investors use to evaluate a stock.